hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel so we are going to beat this face again basically we are going to do some makeup and we're going to look fabulous at the end of this video to start off i'm going to use the maybelline fit me luminous and smooth hydrating primer and as you can see it's a really really hydrating primer it makes your skin look do not use a lot like me first of all but it does leave your skin looking really really dewy and for this makeup look i'm actually doing a dewy, dewy finish as you can see the skin is already glossy and shining and luminous you can obviously stop at this step if you just want a dewy finish but we are going to proceed with our makeup and first and next i'm just applying powder on my eyes before uh doing my eyebrows not powder on my eyes on my eyebrows yeah and then i'm just going in with a pencil to outline the shape that i want and then i'm also going to draw hair like structures all over the eyebrow that i've drawn before going in with my uh, with my eyebrow mascara by pastel and this is in the shade dark brown so this is just a dark brown eyebrow mascara by the brand pastel i'm going to go back in with a spoolie just to make sure that the hair like structures are more outlined and i'm just brushing through the eyebrows and then now for defining the eyebrows i'm definitely going to use my illegal pro conceal concealer in the shade fawn and as you can see i'm only highlighting the lower part of my brow just because i feel that that is less messier and then I'm going to go in with a brow after just highlighting that. I'm going to go in with a brush. Sorry, not with a brow. What am I saying? With a brush. And then I'm just going to like blend that in so that it blends into my skin. As you can see, it is now blended. Now I'm using a, a concealer. And I'm using the Super Stay Matte Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer in by Maybelline. That's the one I'm using as an eyeshadow primer. So at this top, you, you can actually just use an eyeshadow primer or a concealer as your eyeshadow primer. Then I'm going to go in with this Makeup Revolution palette. And this is an orange shade from the, um, what is it called? This palette is called Marvelous Mattes and it's by Makeup Revolution. And now for the corners of my eyes, I'm just going to go in with a red eyeshadow um just to like deepen the crease of my eye just in the outer corner of the eyes only and then i'm going to go in with this bright yellow eyeshadow in the inner corners of my eye just to make my eye pop yes so this yellow one is just going strictly in the inner corners of my eye yeah after applying all those shades of eyeshadow you definitely have to blend it in because you don't want any harsh lines this is not a cut crease look so you don't want any harsh lines so i'm just taking like a fluffy eyeshadow brush and just trying to blend all those colors in so that they can blend into each other nicely after you've blended all those colors you'll have something that looks like this which is a nice blend of yellows oranges and reds and in order for further definition of the eye we are going to go in with an eyeliner and this time around i finally got an liquid eyeliner and this is by the company note so basically the brand is note and this is the precision eyeliner in black and right now what i'm applying there is not actually the precision eyeliner but i'm applying eyelash glue as you can see i've put on the lashes yes they're looking fabulous so for foundation i actually wanted to use the maybelline uh, fit me foundation in the shade cappuccino but it failed me so i changed my mind at that point as you're just going to see in the video uh, as you can see it kind of is yellowish and i'm not the really yellowish um, I do have a neutral undertone to my skin, so I decided to go with the Clinique foundation, which is their even better foundation. That's the one that I changed my mind to use. So right now I'm using the Clinique even better um, SPF 15 foundation in the shade Spice, which is a neutral undertone um, foundation. And that's the one I'm using to apply all over my skin, because as I said, this look is supposed to be a dewy naked finish. Uh, much as i've used like eyeshadows that are bright and all that i just want like a natural finish and this clinic foundation actually gives you like a dewy finish it's not a matte foundation and that is what i'm going for with this makeup look so for concealer i've gone back with the maybelline super stay full coverage under eye concealer in the shade what is this shade that i was using in the shade honey which is 30 and as you can see it's a really really light shade of concealer so i have to like really really blend it in and i've just applied it in the areas that i want highlighted so i was blending it in with a brush and now i'm blending it in with a beauty blender just to make sure that the blend flows seamlessly so after blending it all in i'm going to go in with a little bit of highlighter and for highlighter i'm just using this i'm just using this crayola um 
is it called a lip and cheek color in the shade mango tango so it serves as both a lip color and also like a cheek color now mango tango has like highlights in it that's why i've decided to use it as a highlighter but i'm also going to go in with a highlighter again just to make sure that i'm popping <laughs> i'm popping and for your highlighter, I'm actually using the NYX High Glass Illuminating Powder. And that powder is usually so, so, so mild. Like, you can't even see it. It's not that strong highlight that we used to use in the 2015s, 2013s. No, it's like a really mild highlighter. And then after that, I'm contouring my nose, as you guys can see. And I'm just using an, a contour shade by Makeup Revolution. And I'm just blending all that nicely in so that my nose can appear more slim and more visible. Yes guys we're almost through with this makeup look so just bear with me and don't forget to subscribe yes so basically what we are doing right now is just doing our lips and i do like to line my lips very very thickly with that <laughs> if you guys watched my other video where i was showing you how to like reduce the size of your lips this is one of the tricks you know us guys have like big 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 lips some of us yes like me uh and i've just combined a variety of lipsticks there uh i, I believe one of them was a maybelline lipstick by the uh, one of them was, I believe, the Barely Nude Lipstick by Maybelline um, Sensational Liquid Matte range. And I'm just going to top it up with that Crayola uh, Mango Tango shade because, as I said, it has like some highlight. So it can also serve, and it's a lip and cheek color, so it can also serve as a gloss. Now, as you can see, this is basically the finished product, although I'm going to do one more step, which is actually contouring the face, kind of. Specifically, my forehead, I just like contouring it. I may have pulled that wig to front because no one's hairline looks like that. And also, I am not really good at hair, so you guys will just have to forgive me. Yeah, but this is the final look. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe.